Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lainey and today I'm going to be reacting to The Bad Batch Season 3, Episode 11. The last episode was so, so good. It gave us so much insight as to what the Empire does with these four sensitive kids and we got to know that Omega's blood can replicate the M count of a four sensitive person. So she can replicate the M count of the Emperor to make it possible to clone him with his M count. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. I am ready to see The Bad Batch again. I don't want any more episodes without the Bad Batch. We only have so many left of this show and the show's about them. So I don't wanna see any more episodes without the Bad Batch in it. I'm ready to only see them, but I feel like this episode is going to be tragic. I think Omega is gonna be taken again from the Bad Batch. I think it's gonna be really sad. We're gonna be left on the cliffhanger and I'm gonna be upset about it. I'm not ready. I'm really, really not ready. I don't know what to expect. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I wanna draw attention to my shirt. If you watched my last reaction, you've already seen my shirt, but it's new to me today. And if you skip my last reaction I want you to know I'm wearing this Bad Batch crop top from Jedi Kaylin it's embroidered with all of their helmets on it and I'm obsessed with it I wanted you guys to know that I'm dressed for the occasion and that's what you're seeing from the side over here while I'm watching let's just get right into it am I supposed to know this planet Oh, Fee. But we know that that assassin is after Fee because Sid, screw Sid, Sid gave Fee up because she's a rat Trandoshan. This is bad. He's gonna know where Pabu is just by looking at her ship. Now this guy is on his way to Pabu with the entire empire. I'm not ready for all this. Send the coordinates. I'll have a full division on standby if you acquire a visual on the target. Oh no. Pabu's in trouble. You still need to grab the rations. Keep loading up the ship. We'll be back. Oh, they are leaving. They're listening to Ventress. Oh, I didn't even think about them bringing the young clones back. That's cute. Oh my gosh. No. Text goggles. They never know when someone's sneaking up on Pabu. Why wouldn't they be constantly looking at that? right on into the same cave that Ventress went into. Unreal. Unreal. They're amateurs. And now here comes the Empire. The Marauder's about to be blown up, isn't it? This is the end of the Marauder. Oh no. Oh, you saved Gonki! Box and stack. Take wreck at the ships. Deke. Get AZ-3 to patch him up and fast! Little soldiers. Oh my gosh, that ship's coming into orbit. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, that visual is insane. This is bad, so bad. I know the girl is here. Until she's turned over to me, your island will burn. Fee is gonna show up, right? Can't believe this. I mean, we all knew this was coming. Hunter's a little too good at that. He's so good. I mean, love him. My vessel's been compromised. I can't shake him! Oh no. I knew he was gonna do that. Well, then shoot a secondary tracker onto the ship that they take me away on. Too many unknown variables. It's not a viable plan. It's all we've got, and it's my choice. Omega. Focus on the bigger mission, Crosshair. I'm just a small part of it. Don't let her do it, Crosshair. Hunter will be so mad. Hunter will be pissed if he lets Omega turn herself over. Stop. And here we go. <clears throat> Crosshair is going to have to make a shot, and I don't know if he can do it. I haven't seen his hand shaking in this episode, but I still don't know if he can make that shot. That ship is so sick. If you don't make that shot, Hunter's going to kill you. Oh my gosh, I told you he was going to miss. Is she gonna try out some Ventress techniques? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, the score. Kevin Kiner does not miss. Now, what did I tell you guys in the beginning? I knew Omega was gonna get taken again, again. And Crosshair missed the shot. Like I said, Hunter's gonna be so pissed. He's going to be pissed. They're gonna fist fight again. There's gonna be blood. Just like Echo said there used to be. They're gonna fight, which is fine with me. It's not Crosshair's fault, but why is everyone listening to everything Omega says? She's a child, a mature child. The Empire's going to basically extract all of her blood and test on her and test on her and test on her until it kills her. That's why Nala Say told her, you have to get out of here because her life is in danger there. I don't think she understands that. I don't think any of them understand that. Like she's not gonna be just a prisoner anymore. It's not gonna be like the first time. She's going to be experimented on and maybe put with those other kids. I just had a thought, I had a thought, I had a thought. What if they put Omega with those other kids and she's able to like teach them just the small, small bit that she learned from Ventress and get them to understand their, their abilities and then they can kind of fight back? Hang on, am I writing this? Do you guys think that's possible? I mean, I know she's a kid and she shouldn't be able to teach them, but she'd be able to like, you know, she taught Crosshair how to meditate and she just learned that from meeting Gunji for a day. She could probably just pass on the information she learned from Ventress about the Force to these other Force-sensitive kids. Unless she's kept in isolation, then obviously all of that means nothing. This was a sad, tragic episode. Pabu is in trouble. Pabu's gonna be just another planet that's occupied by the Empire. It's not gonna be safe for them to go back to. I'm surprised that Fee didn't show up again. She probably will in the next episode to come and pick up Hunter and Crosshair and Wrecker. They had to take Wrecker out of it because they knew that Wrecker never would have gone along with Omega's plan. That's the only reason why Wrecker would have been knocked out the whole time. He would have never ever let Omega out of his sight again. But Crosshair, <clears throat> I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't believe this. I can't believe we're doing this again with Omega. But I also can because they resolved the conflict of this the first time very quickly. But the only reason why they did that was to get Crosshair back with the Bad Batch. And now it's gonna be Crosshair, Hunter, Wrecker, and probably Echo again, all together trying to save Omega again. I really can't believe they've done this to me again, but I can. The score from Kevin Kiner was so incredible. It's incredible in everything he does, but I could really, really feel it in this episode. Oh my goodness. What do you think's gonna happen? Like, I have no idea what's gonna happen. I need to know what you guys think. I need you to comment down below and let me know what you thought about this episode. Let me know what you think is gonna happen next week because I really genuinely have no idea how we're gonna solve this. And we have like four episodes left. That blows my mind. I'm so sad. Holy crap, four episodes left, that's it, to resolve all of this. We're really in the end game now of the Bad Batch, of the Clone Wars, unless they make like another clone-centered show. This is really it. As far as we know, this is it for the clones. And I don't, I, I really don't think Hunter and Wrecker are gonna survive. And it's just gonna kill me. Make sure to comment down below and help me cope with everything that's happening in the Bad Batch right now. Thank you so much for deciding to watch this video and enjoy The Bad Batch with me. I love going through all of these episodes with you guys and discussing it with you in the comments. One of my favorite parts about a new Star Wars show coming out. I wanted to let you guys know that you should definitely follow me on Instagram at Lainey Byers. I post on there a lot on there and TikTok, which is also at Lainey Byers. I also have been streaming on my YouTube channel and on Twitch and my username all over the place is Lainey Byers. And I like to stream Fortnite and Battlefront 2 and Animal Crossing and Dead by Daylight, all kinds of fun games. And and if you don't even like games, you can just stop on in and hang out with me. It's also really fun. I get to talk to you guys like live while I'm gaming. Wouldn't that be so fun? I just really, I really want you guys to come and hang out with me <laughs> in my streams. They're so much fun. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. It, oh my gosh, it's gonna be a wild next four weeks. These next episodes are gonna kill me. Is it even four weeks or is it like episode 12? and then 13 and then 14 and 15 together. I think that's what it is. So it's only three weeks. Only three weeks left of The Bad Batch and then my life is over. What am I gonna do, you guys? What are we gonna do without The Bad Batch, without The Clone Wars, without a way to see Rex in animation? I don't know what to do. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a single reaction because like I said, we're in the end game of The Clone Wars and The Bad Batch and you're not gonna wanna miss a single reaction after this. It's gonna get really, really emotional in these next four episodes episodes. I'm gonna need you guys, so make sure you turn on post notifications so that you can cope with me throughout the rest of the series of The Bad Batch, and then it's over. And then what do we do? What do I do? Because this is one of my favorite Star Wars shows ever. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys always showing me so much love and support in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this episode, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!